folks. <laughs> it's Ken Hess, Winnie Card, and yours truly, George Oliver. And we are the Pod Squad with New Bern Now. Thank you for joining us. It is January 20th, 2022, and this is episode number 206. We have Tyler Griffin. Let's bring him in. There you are. And you're at the New Bern Civic Theater. I am. I, I am yeah. currently sitting in the office of the New Bern Civic Theater. <laughs> Wonderful. Are your ears burning, Tyler? We were talking about you earlier. Well, really, I, I just picked up on the banjo part. I figured that's all you were talking about. <laughs> no, we were, um, we were, Ken, we were talking about Ken and talking to Ken, and uh, he was talking about some things coming up at New Bridge Civic Theater that he's involved with, including the experimental, or excuse me, the North Carolina Film Festival in July. And there was something else that he thought you may want to talk about, but he did not bring up yet. But what else is, is Ken involved in coming up here soon? No, absolutely. So we actually got a lot of stuff coming up at the theater. But one thing that actually Ken approached us about was uh, New Bern Follies. So the idea being that the theater that we're in, the Athens Theater, was originally built to be a vaudeville theater. He's like, well, we should be doing vaudeville. And I'm like, well, we totally agree. Yeah. And so <laughs> he's, he has picked up the mantle for us, and we are definitely going to be doing a um, uh, New Bern's Follies. I can't remember the date off the top of my head. We're getting some stuff designed for it now. April 16th. April 16th. Do you, do you mind telling people what Bondeville is? Because I well, had to ask Ken. <laughs> absolutely. Never... Think, think about it like a variety show of sorts. So, you know, people back in the day used to have these 10-minute acts. So it could be juggling. It could be tap dancing. Uh, it could be just singing numbers. It could be little vignettes of plays. And they would literally tour around the country and there would be circuits They would go to these little theaters, including this one, and just do their little their little shows. Um, and so what we're trying to do is essentially have that same feeling where you would have an MC that was true to the theater, that stayed at that theater all the time and would bring in just these little acts and they would do two hours, you know, every few days. And what we're looking for are people in New Bern that have kind of like stupid human tricks. You know, if you can, play, <laughs> you can sing or spin plates or literally anything, we will open up auditions soon. We'll announce all those very soon. Um, <clears throat> so really just the idea of like, what kind of talent does New Bern have? That's other than just like, I can sing, you know, there'll be some of that, but like, what else is out there? Cause you never know. And so it took, you know, a whole evening of that, and hopefully, you know, we'll make it like an annual thing. And it's just called uh, New Bern Follies. That sounds really fun. Yeah. That's a great idea, Ken. Great idea. We'll, we'll have to find some really good, like uh, a good MC. So we might be pulling George in for that. He doesn't know it yet, but he might. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Don't, don't say anything. <laughs> I, I, I do want to give a little more information about Tyler. Tyler is our interim executive director at New Bern Civic Theater, and Tyler stepped in when we had a need. Tyler is from the New Bern area. Um, Dover, Tyler? From Dover. Dover. With, um, with the other 12 people. Yeah, exactly. So if you're from <laughs> Dover, you know Tyler. You may be related to Tyler, um, but uh, <laughs> there's a good chance. But Tyler grew up here, and he went to ECU and got his BFA in theater. Um, musical theater, Tyler? Musical theater. Musical theater. And uh, then Tyler went on and started a business, and he um, was responsible for training and putting together shows at uh, for with the entertainment at different theme parks around the country, like Dollywood, like um, what's the place in Ohio, the um, uh, Cedar Point, Cedar Fair, Cedar Point. all their parks. Yeah. Yep, and also cruise ships. And Tyler would um, audition people and put people together and and put together entertainment that you might see in one of those places. And so Tyler's been all, all over the world with that sort of uh, job, um, all over cruise ships. Wherever cruise ships go, Tyler has been there uh, multiple times. And I can tell you, we'll tell you, if you visit a place like that, what restaurant to go to. Because when we're in Mexico with the kids, uh, he's like, oh, yeah, you got to go to Cuervo de Chango. They've got a monkey that runs around. And I was like, yeah, I want to go see that. So of course yeah, so. I sent him a picture of Mason going like this because there was a monkey running around behind his head. <laughs> jumping <on. laughs> it was so much fun. But Tyler is a great friend to New Bern Civic Theater um, and Rivertown. I mean, Tyler was the uh, musical director and, um, and helped direct Sweeney Todd several years ago, if you saw that, at New Bern Civic Theater. And most recently directed, music directed um, Rock of Ages. And uh, that, he took that on, and that was a hugely successful show in New Pacific Theater. Brought a lot of people in that had not been in shows before or seen plays there before. It was a great production. Um, but Tyler, as interim executive director, has been um, making such strides over at New Bern Civic Theater. Uh, the theater is two buildings. It is the um, New Bern Civic Theater, theater building, and then right beside it is what we call the Athens Cafe. 
Tyler, just tell us a little bit about what you've been doing. <clears throat> yeah, so when, when I came here, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure they just thought I would just fill in until they found the next person. But, you know, it's just something that I, I've been at this theater just back and forth for years and honestly have some connection to it. And whenever um, it came up to, you know, kind of fill in and fill in the gap until they found the permanent replacement, um, that I wanted to, um, I really wanted to take it and bring it up to the next level. So, again, knowing it's like it's kind of, it's kind of unheard of that a community theater not only has two buildings, but outright own two buildings, you know, in the middle of a downtown. Like it's not, you know, that that's not common by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but we had so much potential here to be able to do things. Um, it just required some elbow grease. So the first one being, we, it was called the Athens Cafe. Um, we've turned it into a rehearsal studio now because it used to be full of all sorts of junk um, that has just been piled up over the years. I'm like, you know, this could be a perfect spot to be able to rehearse all the shows, but also put on like cabarets and stuff in this, um, in this, um, in this building. So we ended up redoing the entire first floor, putting new flooring in, taking the walls down to the original brick, repainting the ceilings. We put in brand new lights. It's gorgeous in here. I mean, you would walk through here and you're like, this does not belong in New Bern in the best possible way. And from that, uh, I realized that what was happening, they were rehearsing and building all of the sets on stage. And so if you do that, it, it wastes a lot of stage time, you know, and a theater can only make money, you know, but so many ways and that's selling tickets. And so like, I really wanted to increase programming. So that way the theater can have more resources to give back to the community. And so with that, opening up the rehearsal studio, which that way we don't have to fight for rehearsal space or figure out that like everyone always has a dedicated time. They don't have to fight any bias for the rehearsal. That's their space. Um, we're in the process of looking for a offsite scene shop. So that way we never have to build sets on stage anymore, which then opens up dates that we could do stuff like the New Bern Follies or we can bring in the bona fides or we can bring in you know, all of these people and other outside acts, you know, because I would love to bring in magicians and comedians and all sorts of stuff. But in order to raise more money to give back to the community productions. Um, so right now we're also renovating the inside of the theater. So next time you see a show, it's going to look like a brand new theater. Uh, again, we're bringing it down to the original brick. Uh, we're redoing the ceiling tiles. We're redoing the green room backstage, which the audience won't see, but our volunteers will. Uh, we're doubling the amount of space they'll have back there. And so we can, we can make better productions more efficiently and, and faster. And that's the best part. Um, and then there's also some other couple of tweaks we're doing. So one thing that uh, I brought in for another business that I'm doing downtown at the time, a good friend of mine, his name's uh, Chuck Davis. He's a sound designer and he has two Emmys in sound design. And he is redoing the entire sound system for the Civic Theater as a favor to me. So... When I say like it's going to be, it's going to blow everyone out of the water when it's done. I, I mean it. Take it straight to the bank. You know, it's going to be the the nicest looking, professional sounding community theater probably in North Carolina and probably a lot larger area. Wow. Um, but it's but it's only because we have such a good community here and people that support what we're doing that we're yes. able to, to do that. Um, and it's so exciting to see everyone on the ground here being excited about it because all of a sudden we're making these big strides so fast. They're like, I want to be a part of it. I want to be a part of it. And so we're like, again, we're bringing in so many new people, you know, it's, and, it's and we need, we need volunteers. I, I'll put out a call. Anybody that thinks they're interested in helping at the theater needs to come by. Uh, Melanie flew Hardy is our, um, volunteer coordinator, but there's, it's not just actors, singers, it's people that want to direct, people that want to produce, people that have ideas for shows like Ken. Um, it's people that want to build sets, that want to do costumes, lighting, um, props. I mean, there's so many different ways to help at the theater, and it's it's really all about community. You, you make the best friends you'll ever have working on a show, and and you, you get so that that's that's where you want to sp spend your free time because those are the people that you that you really like. You know, outside your family, they become some of your closest friends, um, and. I, I, we'd be remiss not to talk about Erica Butters. Tyler, do you want to talk about Erica for a minute? Yeah. So Erica, actually, she, she came from cruise ships like I did. Uh, and her husband just happened to literally land in New Bern. When I say they literally threw a dart at a map, that's what happened. Um, and I think I ended up meeting her like last year doing like karaoke somewhere. <laughs> and um, we ended up becoming good friends and we ended up um, – bring her on to do Rock of Ages. And at the time I was like, we really wanted someone to revamp our donor program and to be able to 
um, really help build relationships between our patrons and our donors and our corporate sponsors. Um, because that's one thing that we haven't had a lot of consistency on yet. And so we ended up bringing her in and probably about a month and a half ago. And so far she's brought over $30,000 to the, uh, the theater in just a month and a half, including $25,000 from Toyota of New Bern, who are awesome for doing that for us. And so I will sing their praises high and low. Um, so they are a season sponsor. Yeah, they, they are a season sponsor for all of uh, 2022. So being able to have those type of partnerships and someone to be able to branch out and expand our group of people and expand what we can do at the theater. And also uh, being ambassador to tell people what the theater is about and why we're here and um, and what we could do for the community and what we're actively doing for the community. Because a lot of times, like people just don't know what's happening in these buildings and having someone that's always out there like, hey, come look at this. Like, you know, there's it's that thing of like if we don't support it, it never comes back. And so it's nice knowing that we have such great support. And she's definitely leading the charge and bringing in more people. So she's doing an awesome job for us. That's fantastic. Wow. Yes. Very cool. And uh, so is there anything else? Um, we've got our next guest, our, our surprise guest in the room. So Tyler. Tyler. If people want to get if people want to get involved, how do they contact the theater? What's the best way to reach out? Well, the best way to reach out is either you can call us um, and the number two five two four nine seven seven six three six info at newburncivictheater.org. dot uh, org. You can also go to newburncivictheater dot org and look and it says about us and it says volunteer for the theater and tell you exactly how to contact us or just come to the theater and come talk to us. We're around, you know. We we love coming in and bringing in people. So just. Poke your head in. <laughs> we'll find something for you to do, I promise. That's right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And and well, we're we're so glad that you're the new director over there. So Absolutely. And, thank yeah. you for having me. And have a wonderful day. Stay stay warm. Okay. Yeah, stay warm. See you a little bit, Tyler. See ya. <laughs> See you later.